Hey folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm just, a lot of you would have known already, but I was away last week at a training camp for short track speed skating in Brisbane. So I thought I'd like do a little recap of the camp, but then I'll actually show you footage of the racing at the end of the camp and do a full breakdown of it all like I did last video or the video before. I'll link it up. I can never remember which side the link pops up, but yeah, I'll link that previous video there. So anyway, I was in Brisbane from Tuesday the 12th of April to Sunday the 16th of April. And we were pretty much training seven hours a day. We have a morning session and the evening session and pretty much they were always warm up like outside and then on ice for like two hours. And then in the mornings we would then have dry land training for about an hour and a half. Um, and then a cool down and in the evenings we didn't have the dry line training we pretty much just did a cool down so it's very <laughs> intense but it was so amazing to get so much ice time because we usually just don't have that much time on the ice available each week so it was really really useful and we fully broke down technique like it was insane we broke down every tiny little movement and really built up a good solid technique base. Uh, we were really lucky to be coached by, we had a bunch of coaches that were all amazing. But one of them was a Korean coach, Coach Sion, who came all the way from Korea with four of his skaters, which was just so cool. And he was just, yeah, so knowledgeable and helpful. And he even helped me with sharpening my skates and like learning how to do that properly. And I can finally now <laughs> sharpen my skates. I've been sharpening my skates for like every year, but I can only now, like I've learned how to do it properly actually to make my blades properly sharp which is <laughs> better late than never um but that was really helpful so i was staying with a few of my melbourne friends it's really fun we flew up the night before and we stayed in this really nice airbnb uh and yeah it was just so much fun pretty much when we weren't skating uh which was a lot of the day we were just like sleeping or eating i did go on a few walks because we stayed near the beach in sandgate which was really nice i loved just going for beach walks and getting like a chai an iced chai and enjoying the sun and the hot weather because apparently it was like pouring rain and cold in melbourne but it was so sunny in brisbane so yeah that was really fun and then one evening we went out for dinner we stumbled upon Eid street which was a really cool night market um so yeah, that was just really cool, really fun. It was a great Brisbane trip. And on the final day we had racing and I, after that we had like the rest of the day off. So I just explored Brisbane a bit, but let's get into talking about racing. I'll switch over now to showing you guys the videos, the footage and doing a voiceover. Um, and yeah, I'll explain <laughs> how my racing went for you. Okay, so this is the start of the first race. I was racing in the second group and we only raced 500s today. So we were doing heats and then semis and then finals. This is my heat, first heat. As you can see, I'm currently in second place. I started slow because I'm just not very good at starts. Um, so it's a weak point for me, which meant I then had to somehow overtake the skater, but I was lucky to just be able to go around the outside, do an outside pass, overtaking pretty easily. And yeah, I just worked on keeping up my speed. I didn't want to push too hard because it was only the heats. I just wanted to make sure I came first so I could go through to the semis. So yeah, just going up the straights. I was pretty happy with this. I was like fueled by adrenaline, but um, other than that, I was happy. Here I am passing another skater, lapping them. And yeah, just cruising along. This was a nice race and I did end up placing first, of course. And then I went through the semis. Okay, so now we're in the semis here. Again, I start off really slow, even slower this time, unfortunately, and I was way at the back, which just sets me up for a hard time because now I have to overtake all of these other skaters in front of me. And awkwardly, the two in front, directly in front of me were both trying to overtake the skater in first, and I was trying to overtake all of them. It was just really difficult. I tried to go around the outside. You can see here I'm going wide trying to get around the outside but the little kid in front of me was also going really wide and I couldn't get around him it was quite awkward still I kept at it for a few rounds okay so now I just attempted an inside pass it's slow motion here just to show you but I went inside really tight and then ended up pushing that boy next to me into the outside um, it's kind of hard to explain it but if you're a skater you will understand what I mean but 
it was just a really risky move. I kind of felt like I wasn't getting anywhere from trying to overtake around the outside. So I tried around an inside pass, but if I'd held my ground, I would have been fine, but I didn't. I pushed that kid out, which was an illegal move and got me a penalty. So even though I finished first, I did in fact get a penalty there. So yeah, me again facing the camera. Long story short, I got a penalty in the semis. It's my own fault. I, it was a risky maneuver trying to do an inside pass in that situation. I'm glad I did it because I had nothing to lose. It wasn't serious racing. It was just fun racing. And I feel like that's the time when you should really try to push yourself and try that those risky passes and all that stuff because it doesn't really matter in the long run. And now I've just learned a lesson for what works and what doesn't. So because I got a penalty in the semis, I wasn't allowed to race in the finals, <laughs> which is annoying, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it was just fun racing. There was actually like no real goal to it per se. Um, and I learned my lesson <laughs> with that penalty. Anyway, that sums up that little race recap. I know it was short, it was only two races. This Thursday, I have more racing, I have club racing, and it's a bit more serious. I would really like to push myself and see if I can get PBs, because it's my first like proper race post-camp, um, and I've had some recovery time. So anyway, I will do another video of a race recap of Thursday's racing, so stay tuned for that. It might be next video or the following video after that. But yeah, that was a little summary of my time in Brisbane at the air development camp and also the racing to finish off the development camp. It was a really amazing time and I'm so glad I went. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, turn on notifications, go follow my Instagram um, because it will help support me. Additionally, if you'd like to support me further, I do have links in the description box. You can use my affiliate link links, which shop through my affiliate links, which help me of course. Additionally, if you're interested in becoming like a corporate sponsor, I am a, an athlete with Waddle Nest, so you can check them out and help sponsor me through there. Or you can also donate to my fundraising page to help support my training costs. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Um, yeah, it's just a quick one, but I thought it was a fun little recap video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in Friday's video. Bye.